All praises, honor, and glory go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Kadash, double honor unto the apostles, the elders of great millstone that rule well, and the totals is truth, among many other things, and salutations to the sincere Achim out there that are, you know, doing the work and the believing Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, and to the few sincere sisters out there, Shalom. Yeah, I mean, we are uh, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, we are the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of. You know, we're not a bunch of bywords. We are the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. And we are, you know, um, the Bible is our book, man. You know, and the so called white man is the one that is ruling this world in total wickedness. And, you know, the chief tribe of them is uh, Amalek, which are the so called, uh, you know, small hat people. You know, as you see uh, down there, it's a bit messed up and blurry. But I think you get the picture with these ugly, you know, demonic uh, faces up there. But um, maybe it's good that it's blurred out. But uh, without joking around, I just wanted to jump into a few uh, scriptures, man. Because it's not about these devils. It's about Yasha Allah, man. Let me just jump in uh, Psalm 33. And let me start at uh, verse 12. Blessed is the nation whose power is the Lord Yahweh. Because if you see caps, L-O-R-D is, uh, you know, referring, it's really, should, it should say uh, Yahweh. And it is, if you go into the blue letter and then into the Hebrew. And the people whom he had chosen for his own inheritance, you know. And let me go into that word inheritance. And we are chosen in him before the foundation of the earth. So now, okay, let me put it there on the charger, man. Um... Let me see. In, let me see. Let me go to chosen first. And it goes here. And to, to choose, elect, decide for. To choose, to be chosen, to be chosen, selected. You know, so you see elect. You know, and it's all about the elect, man. Whom the most high has chosen. So, you have a few precepts on that. But the Yara I'm going to get into that later. For, you know, had chosen for his, uh, for inheritance, you know, his, it says possession, property, inheritance, heritage, property, portion, share, inheritance, portion. And it goes into, um, let me see, in his usual sense, something inherited, i.e. abstractly occupancy or concretely in heirloom. Let me look this word up. In heirloom. Meaning, Alan. a valuable object that has belonged to a, f uh, a family for several generations. And, you know, we are the monument of the Heavenly Father, you know, Zion. So, and it goes into, um, uh, basically, yeah, it goes into Elfstuk in the Dutch. Yeah, it goes into the same thing. Don't want to go too deep into that. But, you know, it's all about Zion, man. Let me go back. So we are blessed to be our desire. We are of that number, man. And we are even blessed to have the opportunity to work out our own salvation in fear and trembling. And, you know, to um, our desire, please, the Heavenly Father, and to uh, our desire, Lord willing, you know, be able to enter into the most high's rest into the kingdom, man. You know, ha uh, bless us into happiness, blessedness. Uh, often uses an interjection, blessed are, you know, how happy he sees them to selectively uh, read, you know, blessed, happy. So, go back. So, this is a beautiful thing. And the most I only deals with the Israelites, man. Jeremiah 10 and, uh, and 16, the portion of Jacob. Let me start up a little bit higher. Um, Jeremiah 10, verse... Uh, 14. Every man is brutish in his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by the graven image, for his molten image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. You know, a lot of people, they, uh, you know, they worship all these, uh, these idols, you know, these um, statues that might be, you know, very uh, like the book of um, Wisdom of Solomon speaks about it. You know, even the, um, the, Letters of uh, Jeremiah, you know, behind, uh, if you go to the book of Baruch, you see that all these idols that you see, you see that um, 
these idols are just erected they can be they could be you know painted in the most beautiful colors so called but still they're they're nothing but vanity it's nonsense man and people worship them in total ignorance man so they're they're worthless all these nations all these gods uh, of the nations are idols man and a lot of them just just make them and the next man just or the same man starts to worship them it's, it's total nonsense man they are vanity and the work of errors and that's what it is man you know if you re read uh, the wisdom uh, book of wisdom of solomon 14 you know and by worship of idols a lot of you know uh evil and, and nonsense came in the world man they are vanity and the work of errors. In time of their visitation, they shall perish, because the Most High will visit all the idols, man, and will destroy all of them. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the form of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Yeah, man, so, you know, we, uh, the, the Most High deals with us, man, you know. We worship Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You know, we are the, um, the rod of his inheritance. We we are the ones that the Most High deals with, and the Most High gave us uh, uh, promises, man. One of the uh, things, you know, that these devils want to chase is uh, an ever everlasting life, which is promised unto, you know, the Most High's, uh, uh, you know, uh, children, man. Especially if you see, you know, on this side, you know, the elect will get a spiritual power, and on the you know, Israel shall be saved, man. All the everyone of Israel shall be saved because you know, then th uh, two thirds will come back to the elect, man. So all Israel shall be shall be saved, world without end, as the scriptures say, man. So let me go into this inheritance. It goes into um, again possession, property, inheritance, heritage, property. Portion, share, inheritance, portion. And let me go to the next. You also have the precept in Jeremiah of 50, um, 51 and 19. Uh, but let me go, uh, let me see if this, uh, Isaiah 47, verse, um, let me see, Salah, yeah. Isaiah 45. And 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. So, you know, we shall be saved, man. The ones that are in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, that trust in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and even, you know, the ones that are, are going to perish on this side, you know, they will come back, man. You know, and the devil, you know, Esau, he's going to be done away with, you know, after his uh, thousand years of slavery, man. But um, let me uh, go to the next. Let me, a lot of people, they think that the Most High has done away with his people, which is a damn lie, man. It's all about Yasha Allah, man. All about the elect. Let me see. Psalm 94. Verse uh, 13 or 14, yeah, verse 14, for the Lord Yahweh will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. And again, I think it goes to the same word. Yeah, man, it goes into the same uh, uh, word, man. And he will not, for, and neither will he forsake. So here it says, to leave, lose, forsake, to depart, leave behind, leave. Uh, it goes into um, desert. So, and people say, yeah, but, you know, we lost our inheritance. That's all part of the, the punishment, man. Because the Most High was wrought with his people. Jeremiah, what was it? Uh, no, it's Ezekiel 28. Jeremiah 28 goes into the prophets. Ezekiel 28, uh, verse 26 of 25. Let me start there. Um, thus said the Lord Yahweh, when I shall have gathered the house, no, no, it's a little bit higher, Salah, yeah. right, let me see, no, this, Salah, yeah, I wanted another, another one this, that was in Isaiah 47, verse 6, if I'm correct, yeah, 
This is Isaiah 47 and 6. I was wrought with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient has thou very heavily laid thy yoke. And you see that, you know, we were given into the hands of our enemies, man. Our people did all types of uh, wickedness. You know, we've been going off and now in the hand of these uh, these damn devils, you know, we've learned, uh, you know, that we, you know, we learned to uh, worship Caesar Bozier. You know, we learned to worship, uh, you know, uh, Islam. And all that nonsense, man. But also, the Most High, he had, you know, his uh, mercy, you know, grace uh, uh, given unto us through his son, Yahweh Shai. You know, so that we would wake up, the elect of his people would wake up in the land of their captivities and would, would, you know, come back unto him, man. Come back to him and praise him. And that's also, you know, we, we will praise his name in the land of captivities, man. Like in the book of Baruch. So, you see, um, let me go to uh, the word Roth. So, most I was angry, and true, Yahweh Shai, we got our way back. Let me see, I've polluted. Actually, the word inheritance goes to the same. And that is, um, let me see. Let me start with wrath. Uh, to be displeased, be angry, fret oneself, to be wrath, to be wrathful, uh, to be wrath, uh, to be full of wrath, salakia, to be furious, to provoke to wrath or anger, like in Baruch 4 and 6. We provoke, provoke the most high to anger by worshiping and devils and all these uh, you know, false gods and all types of abominable uh, things, man. You know, the most high was displeased with uh, you know, his people. So then he placed us in the land of our enemies, that which had us in hardcore bondage, man. Let me, uh, uh, something extra. Let me see the book of Ephesians. Also, another thing. Let me see, man. Let me just start here with Ephesians 1. Um,. Let me start at three. Blessed be the power and Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Masayah, who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Yahweh Shai, according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. So it's before the foundation of the world. Let me go into the word, word uh, foundation in a minute. And that we, sh that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Because... Let me see. And chosen goes into to pick out, choose to pick out or choose out of out for oneself. Just like Yahweh Shai chose his disciples, like in point A. And if C of Yahweh choosing whom he judged fit to receive his favors and separated from the rest of mankind to be peculiar, uh, peculiarly his own and to be attended continually by his grace's oversight so the most has separated his uh you know the ones that he uh, sees fit and of course many are called but a few are chosen man you know which goes into eclectos that means you know you are being chosen elected to you know do the bidding of yahweh basham yahushai man to do uh, the will of yahweh basham yahushai um of uh, the heavenly father choosing christians you know the, the christians you know the apostles have been called christians first at antioch it's all about uh you know the christians goes to the followers of the anointed man uh, as those whom he set apart from the uh, irreligious multitude as dear unto himself and whom he has rendered through faith in Yahweh Shai, citizens in the Messianic kingdom. Yeah, if you keep that faith, man, and do the will of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, Yahweh desire, man, we're going to enter into the kingdom, man, so that the ground of the choice lies in Yahweh Shai and his merits only. So it goes into, uh, you know, to select, make choice, choose our chosen. So holy, you know, separated. 
without blame, without blemish, a sacrifice without spot or blemish, morally, without blemish, faultless, unblameable. You know, be ye blameless and also, you know, be ye perfect even as my Father in heaven is perfect, man, to, you know, strive for that perfection so that the most I will be pleased with you, man. If you do your best, because, you know, all our righteousnesses has filthy rags, but still, it doesn't mean that you need to just give up and, you know, you'd be like, oh, well, you know, fucked up anyway, so, you know, what else, uh, what what should it matter? No, man, be, you need to be, uh, uh, you know, examining yourself daily and see what you can uh, improve, man, and, you know, make steps to to go from point to point to improve yourself, man, and to be, you know, the man you always desire that the most I want you to be, man, in righteousness. So, according as he had chosen us, in him before the foundation of the world, Salah, that is also what I wanted to get into, the uh, foundation, um, going into a uh, throwing or laying down, injection or dispos uh, disposition, Salah, this uh, dispositing or of the viral semen in the womb, uh, of the seed of plants and animals, a founding, Laying down a, a foundation, or it goes into a disposition, i.e., founding, figuratively, conception, conceive, foundation. Let me look it up and see if it goes into because the foundation is the basis, man. And of course, this goes to make up here. Um, foundation meaning. The lowest load bearing part of the building, typically below a ground level. You know, you see the, the base of uh, of houses, the footing, under structure. And you see. So before the foundation, even before everything in the spirit world was everything was already set, man. The most I already knew. He had the blueprint and gave it to his son, man. And everything uh went on from there everything was already uh you know it was already written man in through the spirit of yahweh basham yahweh shai and later it came into you know the form of uh you know the the, the scriptures man so let me uh go back and go Further, so um, that we should be holy and without blame f uh, before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai Mashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Let me go to the predestination. Predestinated to predetermine. So already, you know, decide beforehand. In the New Testament of Yahweh, decreeing from eternity. To foreordain, appoint beforehand. So, to appoint beforehand, before it's like uh, you know the game is rigged, basically, man. As they say, you already the, look. The most has uh, already had all the information, man. You know because he is uh, omniscient. His his knowledge is unending. It's on just without the boundaries, man. You already had everything planned out. It's just for us now to uh, live through it and to uh, keep growing in knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. You know, for some to, uh, you know, some will be disappointed with, with what's going on. But, hey, uh, these these heathen nations, they had their time, man. This world needs to be put to a stop, man. If you see how everything is uh, run, uh, you know, how they, they have um, governed the earth uh, till till now, man, it needs to stop, man. Even now you have uh, <laughs> you have uh, a news uh, article that came out here like everything's going to reopen. These devils have plans, man, to end people's lives, man, and they rule in total wickedness. Even if you had all the money in the world, you would st you would still not be happy in this world, man, because it's wicked. Your children would still not be safe from these damn pedophiles. You still have hey, if this world would go on, man, you would have Sodom. You already have Sodom all over the damn place, man. It will be, hey man, it will be horrible, man. You would want to do something uh, crazy, man, to get out of this world, man. Damn. But yeah, 
It's unbelievable, man. If you st you stop and and think about, mm, I don't even want to think about this damn uh, shit, all man. But you know, sometimes you just need to, you know. Uh, if you take a look at the world, man. If you go out and about, especially when we go to teach in Amsterdam, man, that is a, a Sodom and Gomorrah in 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 in, uh, in miniature, basically, man. It's just a minor city or something uh, of of Sodom and Gomorrah. Horrible, man. But um, then we go on uh, to the praise of verse six of the uh, to the praise of the glory of His grace, wherein He had made us accepted in the beloved. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. You know, through Yahweh Shai, we have, you know, been bought back, man. We are bought with a price. And the most high, you know, uh, if you redeem something, you buy it back, you get it back. You know? So if you go into Ephesians 2 and speaks about, you know, the circumcision and uncircumcision, we both are now, uh, you know, we have grace now, man, through the blood of Yahweh Shai. And we have been brought back into the Heavenly Father as one. And we need to now serve Him, you know, with, uh, you know, in sincerity and truth, man. So, verse 8, wherein He had abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of His will, according to the good pleasure which He had purpose in Himself. You see, so, the, the, it was already said, man. That in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one. Not in, oh, uh, you, you you do your thing and, and I do my thing and he does that. You know, unity bullshit, man. In one, be like-minded, man. Together in one, all things in Yahweh Shai Masiyah. You know, it's only one doctrine, man. It's only one way. If you want to climb up some other way, man, you're a thief, man. You want to enter into some other way, you're a thief and a robber, man. You know, trying to sneak in. By your own will. That's a, that's you being a heretic, man. You don't want to take advice, basically, man. Because there's only one doctrine, man. Galatians 1 speaks about if you want to teach another doctrine, you, you are, uh, you know, uh, basically putting a curse upon you. You're a curse, man. It's only one doctrine, man. Sound doctrine, which is uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, through the apostles of Great Millstone, man, on down. And the ones that uh, say, like, no, if you teach the same doctrine, hey, don't you don't have to be jumping up and down, man. So, in uh, whom? Let me see. Uh, yeah. So um, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Yahweh Shai Masiyah, both which are in heaven and which are on the earth, even in him. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be the, uh, be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Yahweh Shai Masayah. And let me go uh, to, um, you know, because let me go into the word inheritance here. Because what is it, man? We will also inherit these, these damn uh uh man and rule over them you know like they it is it says to cast lots to determine by lot to choose by lot to a lot to assign by lot you know the most high has everything already uh planned out man everyone has his lot and also if we keep on uh uh you know serving Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai we could <laughs> this is the funny part they put us uh, on auction blocks and, uh, you know, cast lots for us there. And you know, $1 for a nigga, $3 or of, of, of $10 sold. We're going to do that to them as well, man. Just like in the, you know, these these damn filthy sodomites sold a, a boy for a harlot and a girl for a wine. And it's in the book of Joel Tree. You know, we ain't going to do that sodomite shit, but we're going to sell them, man. We're going to have fun with them too, man. You know, beat them up and all that, man. But in righteousness, man. You know, it's a right, it's right, righteous thing to um, recompense, you know, the ones that trouble you, man. It's a righteous thing with the Heavenly Father, man. So, to roughly paraphrase the scripture, 
and in the New Testament to make a lot, i.e. heritage, private possession. And here it goes into uh, from to a lot, figuratively to assign a privilege, obtain an inheritance. And that's what we have with Yahweh Shai, man. True Yahweh Shai, man. To be Yahweh the Zah, fellow heirs. Let me see. God, Ephesians. Goes in the same. So let me um go to um well let me just go to Revelation two and twenty six Revelation two and twenty six and he that overcome it and keep it my works unto the end to him will I to him will I give power over the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my father. You know, and let me see. Uh, Psalm 2, verse 8. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. You know, we're going to rule over all these damn devils, man. Y'all are the czar, man. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. No more jokes, man. You know, they're going to do according to the will of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, Salah. You know, if they don't, you know, they're going to be in big trouble, man. Because we're going to be the police of the earth. You know, we ain't going to, like the book of Hebrews 8 states, you know, we don't have to teach our neighbors, but all these nations, you know, they shall flow unto us, man. You know, all these nations, you know, they're going to live by the law, says the commandments. And if they don't, we're going to, you know, put, you know, righteously, you know, the, the iron uh, rod upon them, man. Eh? We're going to rule with a rod of iron. We're going to, that's a beating, uh, uh, an, an instrument, man, to, to beat down the ones who are, uh, you know, um, trespassing the laws, man. So if you trespass the laws, you're going to be in big trouble, you know. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. You know? So, um, let me go into this word, inheritance. It goes into the same thing, possession. You know? But the heathen going to be a possession, uh, you know, uh, of uh, Yashala, man. We're going to rule over all of them, man. And we're going to be, you know, uh, placed above. We're not going to be the tail anymore. We're going to be the head, man. You know, so um, basically, yeah, man. Uh, so the most I, he, he, you know, he deals with his own people. Let me go into Psalm 148. Um, Psalm 148, verse, and there's another one, if I'm correct. Listen here, another one. Well, let me read this. Psalm 148, verse 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord, Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalts the horn of his people. And the horn goes into the strength. The praise of all his saints, even, you know, namely, of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. Let me go to one more. About the heirs. Oh, Galatians 4, verse 4. But when the fullness of the time was come, Yahweh sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, the Israelites, that we might receive the adoption of sons. And because ye are sons, Yahweh had sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Wherefore, Thou art no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir. You know, now we have, uh, uh, you know, the right of, uh, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, of a part of the inheritance. You know, to the part of the inheritance. Of Yahweh, true Yahweh Shai Masayah. You know, and if you go to uh, Romans 9. For it's one, I say the truth, I lie not, I say the truth and Yahweh Shai, I lie not, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. If I could wish 
that myself were cursed from Yahweh Shai Masiyah for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. And also he, Apostle Paul, wanted to suffer, you know, for his brethren, his kinsmen, according to the flesh, which whom are Israelites to whom pertained the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh and the promises. So it's all, all ours, man. You know, the adoption. Now we are called sons. So now we have, uh, 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 you know, a way to the inheritance if we do the things that which are well pleasing to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So let me go into adoption. Adoption as sons, that uh, that relationship which Yahweh was pleased to establish between himself and the Israelites in preference to all other nations, you know, this Deuteronomy 7 and 6, the Most High has chosen us and placed us above all these nations, man. Because he loves his people. The nature and condition of true disciples in Yahweh Shai, who by receiving the spirit of Yahweh in their, into their souls became the sons of Yahweh. And it's also, you know, uh, like we read, a lot of people, they trying to jump in. But it's all uh, true, Yahweh Shai, and it's all for the children of Israel, man. The blessed state looked for in the future life after the visible return of Yahweh Shai Masiyah from heaven. Um, here it goes into uh, the placing of son, i.e. adoption, figuratively, uh, so-called Christians, son worshiping the respect of uh, so Yahweh, adoption, children. Yeah, okay, so the first point. Was basically the you know the relationship which Yahweh was pleased to establish between Himself and the Israelites in preference to all other nations. You know that makes it very clear. You can't get around that man. And the glory, glory goes into um. Let me see opinion, judgment, view, splendor, brightness, a thing belonging to Yahweh, the kingly majesty. Uh, in point A, the kingly majesty which belongs to him as a su as supreme ruler, majesty in the sense of the absolute absolute perfection of the de of the deity, a thing belonging to Yahweh Shai Masiyah. You know, it goes into the kingly majesty of the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, the absolute perf uh, perfect inward or person personal excellence of Yahweh Shai, uh, the majesty. You know, like, let me see, a most glorious condition, the most exalted state uh, of that condition with Yahweh the Father in heaven to which Yahweh Shai was raised after he had achieved his work on earth. The glorious condition of blessedness into which it's appointed and promised that true uh, so-called Christians shall enter into their Savior's return from, uh, from heaven. It goes down into uh, dignity honor praise worship so and if you go uh, uh you know even uh um when how when how shy returns you know it's going to be beautiful man and after all the hell we went through you know also of course you know that's another part of it you know we're gonna uh, uh, be in a good uh, case man Getting, getting uh, fame, uh, being at rest, you know, being able to serve Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai in 100% uh, uh, correct uh, form, basically, for lack of better terms. You know, the giving of the law, you know, law giving legislation. You know, it goes into the Mosaic uh, Code, giving of the law. Because, the you know, he, Yahweh Shai came for those who were under the law, man, to give the adoption to those, you know, to the Israelites, man. As the Galatians uh, states, so there's, you can't say anything against that, man. A lot of people treat they try, but hey, you, you gonna fail, man. So um, the service, service rendered for for hire, this and something else, and any service of ministration, you know, you came, Yahweh Shai came to minister, and we do the same thing, man. We minister unto, uh, uh, we we minister uh, to the flock, man. The service of Yahweh, the service and worship of Yahweh according to the requirements of the Levitical law to perform sacred services. You know, the ministration of Yahweh, i.e. worship, divine service. So, that's what, also what we do, man. We minister, you know, uh, we do the work 
we uh, praise Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. We keep uh, the all the services, man, to the best of our ability. Like the Pesach is coming up, you know, the Pesach is coming up, and that's also uh, what we do, man. We ain't no uh, going one party. It's a solemn assembly. So here it's um, and as we it's we remember what the heavenly Father did for us, man. You know, you no know, slaying all all the 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 people without faith and 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 you know freeing us from our enemies, man. Slaying our enemies is a victory over our enemies, man. In the time of Egypt, you know the Pesach. So again, um, uh, Salah, yeah. And the promises goes into announcing promise, the act of promising. You know, we are promised the land of milk and honey, man. We are promised the land of Israel. We are promised to, to um, you know, be ruling over our enemies, man. Live to live forever. You know, if you read through the scriptures, that's coming for the ones who serve Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai in sincerity and truth, man. The ones who uh, belong unto the, you know, to the to that number, to the elect, they're going to get that, man. Yahweh Desire. You know, uh, going to be a part of that number, man. Because that's all we can do. We can hope, you know. So, um, as announcement for information, uh, ascend or pledge, especially a divine assurance of good message promise. You know, uh, and also, how uh, can I, you know, promise good or blessing? You know, it's just what I just went into. So, yeah, man, basically, this is all for us, man. And the Most High has not done away with his people. Romans 11, verse 1. I say then, had Yahweh cast away his people? Yahweh forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. You know, the Apostle Paul speaking. Yahweh had not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Let me go into that real quick. You know, predestined, foreknew, to have knowledge beforehand, to foreknow of of those whom Yahweh elected to salvation. <laughs> to predestinate, man. So already to know beforehand, you know, foresee, for no ordain, man. Again, man, the game is rigged, man. A lot of people, they're trying to do all types of things, you know. You, you, people are trying to <laughs> take control. You can't take control of this thing, man. It's all in the hands of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh had not cast away his people which he foreknew. What you not what the scripture said of Elijah of Salah, yeah of Elias, how he make it intercession to Yahweh saying against Israel saying Salah, who how he make it intercession to Yahweh against Israel saying Lord they have killed their uh, their prophets and dig down their ark yeah we basically Salah, I went uh, past the point man the point is in verse one the Mosai did not uh, do away with his people and. His people are preordained, predestined to make it, man. Whether you like it or not, man. So, yeah, with that, I would like to say shalom.